Hello, welcome to short video measurement of the output spectrum of STN32WB on spectrum analyzer. Now we will set the spectrum analyzer for depicting the Bluetooth spectrum of DUT. Press the FREC button and click on center. Entry the center frequency to 2.45 GHz. Then press SPAN button and enter the value for example 1 GHz. Now we set the reference level by pressing amplitude and reference level. We will set it up to 10 dBm to ensure to be seen it even for higher power levels. Now we will set also the input attenuator to be sure about RF power doesn't damage the sensitive input of the spectrum analyzer. Click on RF attenuator menu and set the value to 30 dB. Moreover, we need to set the reference bandwidth and video bandwidth of input filters. Press the bandwidth button and video band bandwidth auto and reference bandwidth auto. Connect the output of STN32WB to spectrum analyzer input. Use torque wrench to be sure about right tightening. Connect the USB cable to the onboard ST-Link. Start the STN32 cube monitor RF and choose the appropriate COM port. Click on connect button. The state window will display communication with the DUT board. Click on RF tests. This is the dialog window with transmitter settings. You can set various parameters as output power, TX frequency, packet length and so. Just we start with the TX tone, set the maximum power and the channel 19. Click on start tone button. The tone appears on an analyzer display. We can set the marker peak by button marker, then marker function and click on center is equal to marker frequency. Also modify the span to 100 MHz. Now we can change it to modulated signal. In GUI, click on Start TX. Transmitter will output the modulated signal with preset data. Now we modify the plot. Change the reference level to 0 dBm by amplitude button and reference level. Then change the span to 10 MHz. For more stable view it is necessary to modify resolution bandwidth and view bandwidth. For example, RBW to 1 kHz and VBW to 10 Hz. Thanks for watching. Bye.